Hello everyone, I'm I for Scotland and welcome back to part 3 of Metal Gear Solid. Uh, last time I got my arse absolutely obliterated by Revolver Ocelot uh, way too many times than I can count and if you watched the last video I did some tricky editing to trim down the amount of time it took. Um, I eventually found rations and then I was fine. Um, this then led me on a wild goose chase. I am supposed to find a radio frequency code that um, allows me to speak to the, the woman who kind of ran away from us. And it it took me a while to figure out that, um, well, basically I looked up how to do it and I was eventually taken to a forum of people like, ages ago going how do you actually solve this puzzle and then i was told that it was on the the cd case the box that the game originally came in um i don't have that box this is on steam um so i was like okay i wonder if they've put it in the the steam page like store description and it is actually one of the screenshots that's there so if i am correct this should be fine and this episode won't require any tricky editing in the middle of it because I don't know what I'm doing. So we will see how we go in this regard. So I believe it is 140.15 is the frequency. And that didn't do anything. There we go. Who are you? There we go. I was really go. impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the yes. colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Then just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. Why is you she here? By yourself? Oh you no, she was captured. Kind of one man army? I mean, at this point, I, I am. Lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know. How do you no. know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? <laughs> my name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid <laughs> Snake? That's what some people call me. Well, A legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. She fancies them. The balaclava eyes. came off. They're not soldiers. When a woman eyes. takes off her balaclava, eyes, right? you know that she fancies you. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. <laughs> oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary solid snake. Oh, this you trying is to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe oh, that. Super grizzly. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So <laughs> what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some mm. information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I know that there's a I'm whole sorry. bunch of snakes. I was captured along with President Baker. So I imagine right there's something the involved attack. there. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a hey. civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Okay. Foxhound and the next generation special forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Okay. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? Did we? I mean... I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption suppose of the Metal Gear universe. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I I'm not sure. One million dollars! Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's okay. right. Amazing, you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway. Knew that line was fucking coming. I could tell immediately I knew when that line was coming. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Everyone's hearts yeah. are just exploding. Was them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. 
yet. Okay. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second okay. floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we I'm doing do a lot of before he finishes. sitting right. <laughs> in this conversation. override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan okay. to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? Yes. It won't be the first time. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. Cool. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. Mm -hmm. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just yeah. one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. <laughs> okay. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, she's I like one of those child soldier. Like, what was it? There was a. <laughs> it was like a UK military recruitment thing where they had like future soldier t shirts and they gave them out to kids at a school. It was wild. Meryl, everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. I, I agree. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to see Oh my god! <laughs> Can this cutscene end? <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, gotcha. I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After Don't be roped into a 50-minute conversation. No, don't call me! No! Snake. Okay. Fuck. Okay, so she said it was on the first floor. I am low on life, so... There we go, full life. Nice. So we're going up to floor one. That had some bad guys on it last time. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Okay. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too okay. much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The car. You walk too sexy. Out. They're gonna find it's you. With infrared sensors. Be careful. Ah, when an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas. Okay. okay. So we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait. You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, Brutal. but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Okay, door unlocked. There's infrared sensors though, and I need to keep my eyes peeled. As it uh, was pointed out in the comments um, of the 
last video, the moment you equip you... Is it thermal goggles? Yeah. Oh god, what? Literally, I've just walked around the corner. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You just told me this. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Yes. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Sure. <laughs> Did she need to take off her balaclava for that? Right. So I can kind of So they go right down to the floor. I wonder if I can is apparently cigarettes also do the trick. There we go. Uh, how do I leave? Oh, I need to equip the key card, don't I? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> okay. So when you've got the cigarettes equipped, you can see like in the kind of immediate space. Thermal goggles are there for just to kind of give you a rough eye fucking idea. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? <laughs> just call me Deep Throat. No. Deep Throat. <laughs> Deep Throat. The Watergate scandal. Never mind. <laughs> You're not using burst transmission. Oh fuck. Listen. There's a tank in front of the station <laughs> waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? Uh, One of your fans. Just call me Deep Throat. Sure thing. Right, where is my mine detector? When equipped, buried mines will show up on the radar. Cool. Fuck off, I was nowhere near that! Right. Fuck's sake. Deep throat got me distracted. Ah, fuck. Oh, that's a tank. Sure. Oh, is this just a straight up boss fight? No. How the fuck am I supposed to destroy that? I'm guessing it is crawl like a snake on the ground. Is that the whole thing? Damn deep throat. That with ah fuck, do I need to listen to deep throat again? No. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah, we're not listening to deep throat again. Come on. No! Okay. Every single time I'm pressing the B button to get out and it's not working. Right, so if I run here. Oh, 
Okay. So bearing in mind here that there are mines. Why do I get the feeling if I was crouching, I don't think it would make much difference to the tank, but yeah, funnily enough. that ration again. All this time I've had this box. <laughs> okay, you can, you can see the moving cardboard box. Shit. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Can I see him? Out a whole bunch of deaths again. <laughs> Fuck. Right. No, must be a way to skip this. Okay. Deep throat. And then. It is hard to judge where he is. Oh, now he phones. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Once it locks onto a target, it automatically tracks it. And its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. Great. get close, you'll have to confuse a tracking system. Ah. If you can jam the system and get close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. Use your chaff at a long distance to fool its electronic system. This is chaff grenades, right? To be absolutely clear, this is the chaff grenades. Which is like... What the fuck is that gonna do? <laughs> by a tank. Fuck! Okay. Can I just use my gun, do you think? Jesus! I don't, I don't know where it went there. I think it was behind me. That's... Very awkward, but at least I know what chaff grenades. Okay. Chaff grenades are key. Snake. Snake, be careful, deep throats. Coming for you. And then, sorry, we're going. Chaff grenades. Well, first we need to actually trigger this fight. So this guy comes out. Okay. No! She said something else there, hold on. Upper hatch with your grenade. I mean, fucking hell. The aiming is. leaves a bit to be desired, to be perfectly honest. I'll try my best. Okay, let's go. Okay. 
now. For fuck's sake. Oh, this is so hard to fucking control at the same time. Right, fuck's sake. That gunner is dead, right? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> There's just another one. <laughs> right. Okay, let's go there. And we've got one more. Let's go. Shit. Fuck's sake. Chaff, 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 chaff. Uh, let's go over the back of the grenade. Come on. Shit, did I throw the wrong grenade there? Was that a flashbang? That's got it. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. Hooray! Tank destroyer. A level three key. Hell yeah. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. He got the card. Let we'll play with him a little longer. You Wait, there was stuff I wanted to grab. There was like what stuff on think of him. Hmm. He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Ah! Like My you, gameplay there was absolutely not possessed, possessed by a demon see, levels of I told you heroic. So, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, uh, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people. Sue means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Oh, wait, so he's speaking to the ball from there. Gotcha. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. This time with yes, two tanks. The raven on my head. <laughs> it thirsts for his blood. Well, that was... Yeah. Oh, my life recovered there. Somehow. And I... Can I... Can I leave this place, actually? Oh, I can! Nice! Uh, I want to go and pick up the stuff that I... didn't get the chance to grab. Hopefully the tank's not there. Again. <laughs> So there's additional grenades, and then there was something here, wasn't there? Fucking rations, hell yeah. Anything else? Oh, there was a whole bunch of stuff. Cool. Anything else over this side? I don't think there was, but might be something. Oh, there is. More grenades. Nice. Cool, so now we've got a level 3 card, which means we can do anything. I am wondering, there was a couple of doors that we couldn't unlock in the other place, so I'm wondering if the level 3 card would unlock them now. Got some additional rations, that's cool. I think we've now got, yeah, we've got max rations at the moment, which is good. I imagine we'll need it because I'm going to end up dying a whole bunch. I can crawl under the door, that's what it is. Oh, to have another 40 minute phone call. You have 
absolutely must not use weapons in that area. What? I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? what? What are you talking about? Oh, fuck. Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, oh, they're all dismantled warheads. <laughs> they just leave them here. It's like President Baker said. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. I still can't get over Nastasha. I've never heard that. I've heard Natasha a million times. Nastasha. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Okay, do not use weapons on this floor, but apparently we can't use weapons on the floor anyway. Wait a minute, so what do the guards use? Can I just fucking... cruise around? They've got weapons, what the fuck? Oh, they might have special weapons. And they're wearing hazmat suits. Interesting. Anything in here? Oh shit, there is ammo there that I kind of want to grab. Oh god. Nice, got some more FAMAS bullets. Some more SOCOM bullets. What we got along here? More grenades. I was going to say, we've got stairs, but that guy was there, so maybe we can go now. Come on. Come on. Nice. I think it was basement two, wasn't it, of the north storage place where the, nu where the nukes are. Damn, walls are fancy here. Ah, fuck. I never know whether or not I can, like... I feel like this is more a stealth game than it is a shooting game. Uh, that being said, there has been quite a bit of action, but I feel like it's maybe sensible of me to not go in guns blazing into a lot of rooms. Maybe? Oh, that's a level 5. I can't go there. Ah, fuck. He's just left that room. Shit. Hold on. So, we've got... Oh, he was doing like a shit. Cool. Nothing interesting here, though. So the concern now is... Where the fuck did he go? Oh, right, they're both in that room. Okay, let's get out of here before he comes round. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! No! Fuck! You bastard! Right, this isn't this floor, so I can fucking fam ass it now. Now the elevator comes. What the fuck, man? Okay, combat in this game leaves a lot to be desired, which, again, kind of reinforces the whole you're better off just stealth thing. I'm gonna go to floor two. There's no, no. Nothing up here for me at the moment. Oh, come on. Look at the fucking control panel. There we go. Right. So this is where the guy... The scientist boy is, I think. Flash banged by the... Ah, fuck. Okay. 
open up the power. That's simple enough. We can do that. And now I'm now going to get a call that says do that. Watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, mm -hmm. the floor is electrified. Uh -huh. First, destroyed the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But yeah. how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. What? What the fuck are you talking about? What's the. Do we have them? Right, I think. Yeah, we need to maybe phone the. Uh, what's her face? Is it Meryl who's the weapons person? Remote control missiles. Ah, oh, fuck it. I think the remote controlled missiles are on oh. the first floor basement of the Warhead storage building. Cool. <laughs> you did not need to take your mask off to tell me that, but fair play. Okay, we will quickly jump here. Why does this keep happening? Okay, so someone can maybe tell me in the comments, but do like the controls and just general quality of life stuff get better? I know this game came out in 1988. Uh, 1998. I'm not expecting it to be flawless, but at the same time, holy shit, it's it's pretty rough around the edges for a, like a remaster. Okay, no, no. Nope. Any... I mean, there's ammo there. Oh, there's something in here. Nikita Missiles. Nikita Launcher. I'm guessing that's it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, this guy's coming. Come on, come on, come on. Right, we've got the, the we've got the Nikita launcher. If the Nikita launcher is not the wireless missile thing, then we're fucked. But right, let's see how we go. Remote controlled missile X or dead. What the fuck? It's like a stinger. Oh no! What the fuck? Oh! Is this? Oh! Don't mind me, just a missile hanging out. Fuck! Is that what I'm supposed to do? Hold on, is that the... Nah, that can't be it. Maybe I turn right at the end of this? Ah shit, my O2's... Going down. Okay, let's be quick. Is it this way? Nope. This is weirdly. Ooh. Fuck. Ah, I was so close there as well. Right. I think... <laughs> I'm gonna run out of O2. Shit. Where was it? Was it here? Ah, fuck! No! What the fuck? Where was that? Where was it? Shit. Uh, 
Right, okay, go again. Hmm? Come on, door. What is happening? Oh, it's because I don't have a fucking card. Right. A second. Fuck you, deep throat, you sack of shit. Dr. Emmerich is probably being held. The bloody data with gas to prevent it from escaping. There should be a gas mask on that floor too. If you use it, you'll be able to make it through easily. So the floor's electrified, so I need to destroy that first. There it is. Bastard. Okay, I'll... The sofa... I was close! I had it, basically. Right, okay, let's... We know how to do it this time. The speed at which this launcher goes is a little bit awkward. Let's go... Fuck! Shit, can I do this before I run out of O2? Probably not. Fuck's sake, right. Right, just take your time. Don't be a tube. I hate that the map doesn't... I mean, obviously the map wouldn't do it with a missile, but holy fuck. I feel like this game is also more of a puzzle game than anything else, actually. Okay, so I can do this. And then I can do this. What a palaver. Okay, so there is still, however, gas, so I'm going to get as big a glug of oxygen as I can. I should also probably get... Shit, no. I should probably get the chaff grenades out. And I need to just have the card active, so... Can't go through there. Can go through here. That's a gas mask! Shit! Hold on. I have a gas mask now. Don't know why I'm going through here, actually. But... Hold on, is that... No, let me in. Okay, back to the gas mask. So there must be a way for me to... I was going to say, there must be a way for me to... free him or turn off the gas just outright. That would be handy. Jammed. We'll maybe go along to the right. Cool. And... Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Somebody got done. A bunch of people got done. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Hmm. It's not but good. 
That's, yeah. Fam ass out, it's party time. Oh shit. Oh, is this one of the. This is one of the boss guys, isn't it? Oh, it's that guy. Cyborg Ninja, yes! <laughs> That's the guy that's directly above me! That's Cyborg Ninja! Wait, what? The lines in this game are fucking gold, actually. Revenge? Like, there's definitely some really, like, campy action stuff, but, like, that is amazing. Why is this guy desperate to fight me to the death? He's gonna go fucking invisible in this fight, isn't he? He just deflects stuff, that's fucking cheating. Oh, <laughs> thanks for the hint. Um, what about grenades, actually? What's down here? You can't. I can't defeat him with a weapon like that. But there's like ammo for said weapon around the room. Oh, for fuck's sake! Ow! Am I supposed to, like, hit him? Maybe I'm just supposed to hit him. Fuck it, let's give it a go. Maybe I just punch him to death. If I can actually find him. Nope, he just runs me over. Holy shit. I don't really have much else. I am very confused. Nah, it's not happening. No. 
I'm gonna have to give this like an one more go and then I'll have to try for next time. So what weapon? Okay, definitely doesn't do shit against them. But what weapon can I? Shit. There we go. I can defeat them with chaff grenades. Really? Wait, what? The fuck? So I feel like chaff grenades just take up the full room. D fuck, did I just throw a stunt? I need to stop doing that. That's as much health as I can take off each time. Nope. He's got fucking iframes that I can't do shit against. What the hell? This can he be the way to fucking fight him? Unless there's a point like mid fight where he suddenly just becomes vulnerable to shit. Bastard. Right. right, he's over here. This seems very slow. Snake, you can't defeat me with a weapon like that. It doesn't it does not let me follow up at all. Nothing. Here's a thing. No. I was wondering if like I couldn't use my Nikita missiles until I'd stunned them, but I, I can't seem to do that either. Fuck. This isn't right. This isn't right at all. Anything. Okay, so I'm out of chaff grenades. Shit. 
shit, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? That does not do anything, man. Holy fuck, he just goes down and then we're back to iframe shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is not good. Nah, no idea. Done, maybe? That looked good, that did, though. Yeah, that doesn't do shit. What the fuck? Absolutely bamboozled. Can't defeat you with fucking anything, apparently. Absolutely just bulldozes me. Right. Okay, let's go again. Right, I think the cut here is going to be really obvious. There was an issue that I had to run away and deal with. One day we will have a Metal Gear Solid... Uh, episode, I suppose, that doesn't have, um, like, a weird break in the middle of it. Uh, right, okay. We are fighting Cyborg Ninja. We are gonna continue. I feel like everything he says is all based around not using the right weapon. We can't use Nikita, and we've tried all the grenades, and we've tried the farm ass, and we have tried the Sokum. What if we just, I mean, we've been able to damage him with the chaff grenades and then the punching, so maybe we just kick the shit out of him. I think we can try that. Let's see, here we go. Right, so we've seen this. Make me feel alive again. Hold on, he has a sword. That's fucking unfair. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Ah. That's... No, that's not how... Yeah. You fucking wrecked, cunt. Oh. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay, right. Night. Is it seriously only. Am I only getting like one hit in? Okay. Run. Oh god, this is so slow. Ow, and he does that fucking cartwheel thing. Which wrecks the shit out of me. Oh, fuck off, no way. The controls leave just so much to be fucking desired here. <laughs> Did I duck out the way there? Right. That's my three rations fucking used, which is embarrassing. What the fuck? I don't understand how his iframes are so... 
So he gets he like gets iframes after one punch. No, oh, no. Can I just run through this? I can. Ah, cool. Okay, get out of there. Come on. Okay. Fuck. What? What an annoying little dick. I can't really tank one of those, um... Okay. See what I'm... Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm so confused at this. Right. Okay. There's no other... There's no other fucking... I just can't get hit ever again. Okay. Yes. No! Oh, you can't! I totally had him there. Right. Okay, go again. Go again. We've got this. We've got this. Dun, 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 dun. Shit, did I have a weapon equipped there? No, hold on. No item. Right, he now does his jumpy thing. He'll then do this. Which I can't skip. Okay, so he likes doing that flip thing. I think I can beat, beat that. Fuck! You have to get in the way, snake. There's my rations. There we go. Okay. No, don't fucking fucker! Okay. Nice. How did that not hit? Again, that was... So there's like times where I can only hit him for one... Fuck! How did that... Come on. Come on. Nice. Go again. No! I keep on running into that one. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm confused how he's like dodging. Oh, 
fuck, that was close. Come on. Oh. Nice. That's him down at 50. Cool. So now he's doing his shit. Okay. Okay, so you can... He just hops to, like, a corner. Get wrecked. Oh, fuck. Is this just a find him? Ah, oh, nah. What old times? Masochist. Okay. Whoa! Sure, yeah, that fucking... Oh. This guy's got... Okay. I don't like this. No! <laughs> you can dodge out of it! Oh, that's funny. You can just fucking crawl along the floor. That's funny. No way! Shit, I need to... What the fuck are you talking about? Also, let me heal. I've got my one ration left. Ugh. Okay, so I need to make him, like, dodge that a couple of times. Okay. I don't like these menacingly walking towards me. Shit, I could have got him there. Oh wait, now I can get in. Nice. To be fair, it's a very clever boss to be like, yeah, you're gonna have to do this hand to hand. So let's beat that punch. Yep, one, two, three, boom. Stop saying that. Okay, got a couple more. Got a couple more. We've got this, we've got this. Come on, you fucking prick. <laughs> um, so we beat him into doing his little fucking punch. Oh, what? No! Fuck. Do I chaff grenade him there, maybe? Right, hold on. No item. I, I, can't, I can't believe that! I, can't, I cannot fucking believe that! Okay, we know what we're doing. Okay, he does his little flip. Oh, he went the other way, that way. You'll now jump away. Can't skip these. Sure. Okay. Right, let's see how fast I can do this now. Now that I've got him. Nope, fuck no, I don't. Where is my... There we go. Oh.
Fuck. Need to follow that up faster. There we go. What? Come on. Shit. I always get caught out by that one at least once. Shit. Okay. Nice. Let's go. He's coming up for half health now, and he's teleported. Cool. Okay, so... Let's see how we do. Okay. Okay. Nope, he's not here. Shit! Now he's doing the stupid shit. It says, um, you fake, you like, you beat the punch. Shit. Come on. Okay, that's good. We have to do this quite a lot, actually. One, two, three, nice. Do you remember Snake? The feel of battle? Yes. The clashing of bone and sinew. Okay. Okay. We've got it this time. We've got it this time. We've kind of got to have it this time. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Right, he's nearly gone. He's about to do his electric push, isn't he? Or maybe not. What the fuck? Is this like a... Uh... Oh. I am so confused right now. Oh, okay, so we were supposed to shoot him. Fucking Scooby. 
Is this... Is this boss? No, this isn't big boss. Oh, what the fuck? Hmm. What's happening? <laughs> didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard of that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Okay. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted oh, him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Hmm. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Oh, for Is fuck's that sake! The only reason. <laughs> Don't Naomi, trust that Naomi, lassie. What Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. Clearly not. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is why. From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So okay. you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Uh, I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. I mean, he did ask a lot. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I so always clearly alone. not. <laughs> alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. <laughs> we can't stay Fuck's here sake. forever. Great, a weeb. A weeb in the fucking locker. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Meryl. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Okay. Well, at least you're not one of them. Huh. Are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just that twisted my ankle a little bit Alrighty. trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information. That was a weird scene Metal cut Gear. there. <laughs> huh? Metal Gear? Huh? Yeah. Metal Gear? What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already <laughs> know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear equipped walking death mobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know. They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? 
So you really didn't know? Hmm. No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Like the actual president yeah. of the United States, just like exactly checking the work of all the, with, all the scientists, uh, did he? Equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a rail gun. Scientist, yeah, purely for defense, we just equipped it with everything. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between a Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? Well, it's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Dude, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. <laughs> There's so many like start and end scenes here. co-developer Rivermore National Labs was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists be a little menace. Thing... <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Six. Damn. Oh come on! I'm Enough of the drama. Fool. It's all my fault. It is. <laughs> the truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. <laughs> ah, he yes. With the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father was, was Oppenheimer. Born on August sixth, nineteen forty-five. Wait, what? Oh, right, okay. Bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. All obsessed with have nukes. Curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. <laughs> yes, that's that's definitely it. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind, but the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. That's enough crying. Uh, you, were, you were working, you were working on a weapon gear. system, my we're dude. Just basically keeping it. Rex is in the underground huh? maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. That's the first time he's mentioned Meryl to this guy. Be like, who the fuck is Meryl? I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you, I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. Shut up. <laughs> if you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Hmm. It's Wait, what? Same stealth technology Fucking give me that! Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. 
bad leg and all. Good. But I, I want that. <laughs> That'd be helpful. Oh god, have we gone in another cop? Fuck. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where Why is she not wearing a balaclava? What's happening here? Oh. They spotted me. <laughs> Meryl, what <laughs> Great. Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. Oh my god, how is this still going? I, I know it's... I know it's this the thing, is, but come on. Walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Good She's Lord. got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't the be toilets. so dense. <laughs> Are they really gonna make it the Here, toilets? Use this security card. It's security level four. Oh, nice. An upgrade. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. Oh, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> you're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make a I thought we were going to get a history of anime there. <laughs> oh no, we are. In the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. Good I Lord. became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. What's happening right, right now? <laughs> we have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. You're gonna Whatever. have to stop watching anime. Information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Oh, cool. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Is that my health being increased? Or is it just recovering fully? Right. Okay, I think it's Mei Ling who does the save game, so I'm gonna jump in and do that right now. Snake has an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another sure. way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassa like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, okay. not just theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Kodak system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. Yep, but and he made the he war crime bot instead. Like a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stopped making things. I don't know. <laughs> All that to be like, I don't know. Save your game? Yeah, sure. Alrighty, that is it, save folks. Thank you very much for joining me for part three. Um, again, I know that there'll be a couple of kind of stitched bits throughout this video, but thanks very much for staying to the end. Um, and we actually managed to beat the Cyborg Ninja or Grey Fox, who I need to go and try and figure out who that is. But anyway, thanks very much uh, for joining me, and see you next time. Catch you in a bit. Bye-bye.